We went to Davis County Fair. They had some kittens there. That's how Mittens found a home with Cindy Flinton and her daughter Allison. You fight with your brothers and sisters, but you never fight with your pets. And so they're always like someone who's constantly on your side. Mittens was in charge here, coming and going as he pleased. And he'll let you know when he wants to come in. He can turn the knob on that door. He can bring it down. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, Mittens wants to come in. But one day, Mittens vanished. I was so sad. I was so upset. I went outside and I just kept calling his name. The Flittons racked their brains. One of Mitten's favorite places is to sleep inside the boat. That boat was here in Salt Lake City being repaired. There had been a cat in their boat yard meowing like crazy, like just scared. Frightened, alone, surrounded by strange noises and unfamiliar surroundings, Mitten's made a ruckus. Employees even snapped a picture. Another customer had come with a dog and he had run away. Run away into the city. Cars whizzing by, the likes of which Mittens had never seen. And that made me sad because I knew that there was no way he could get back here. No way, because Mittens isn't from Salt Lake. He lived in Mountain Green up Weaver Canyon, nearly 40 miles away. And what stood between that cat and his home was the impossible. <laughs> the Wasatch Mountains. Rugged terrain, peaks approaching 12,000 feet. The impossible. But luckily for Mittens, he'd been training for this for his entire life. He's a hunter. A hunter. Voles, mice, rabbits. At one time, he brought back a bird live in his mouth. If any cat could accomplish the impossible, Mittens could. So when it's ready, I'll scan the back. A number will come up. Dr. Carl Pryor uses his cat, Eddie, to show how a pet's microchip works. I think that they have instincts and abilities that we just can't understand. Someone found Mittens and brought him here. Park City Animal Clinic. Park City. Mittens conquered the mountains. It had some abrasions. The toenails were torn up just from the hiking and, and surviving. Four months after running from that boatyard, Mittens was on his way home. This is a miracle cat. I guess he's been a little bit pampered. Oh, he is spoiled. In fact, he's gotten really fat because when he got back, all he did was eat. The good life. Right when we came home, he just sat on this couch with me and fell asleep on top of my lap. But still, adventure calls. Because you can take the cat out of the mountains, but you can't take the mountains out of the cat. I don't know, it kind of seems like an action movie.